What's up, world? You're tuned into 423 FM. You already know we've got you covered with your daily dose of celebrity drama. Now let's get into it. Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back to the 423. You already know what we're talking about today, the Ace family. I've done multiple videos on these guys before, most recently when they went to pretend work at a cafe for an hour and acted like manual labor was this cute little game that they got to play. But every time these people come up, I wonder how they keep becoming more and more unlikable, but the reason they're in the headlines this week is definitely the worst of them all. The Ace family has been big on YouTube for a couple of years now, and probably every couple months, allegations of Austin McBroom cheating on his fiancée Catherine come up. Nothing ever seems to come of these allegations, but now it looks like people are starting to pile on and whatever dirt women might have on Austin is starting to make some serious traction. This most recent scandal started when Cole Kerrigan, a beauty YouTuber, tweeted making allegations about the Ace family and most specifically Austin's actions. When everyone was up in arms over their video about working at the cafe, Cole retweeted it, writing, How does no one know their entire brand is fake? Austin has slept with many of my friends recently, even one girl with his own father, and Catherine knows and is okay with it as long as he's home in time for the vlogs. Fast forward to this week, Cole posted a whole video on Monday explaining his so-called proof that Austin not only cheated on Catherine, but he ended up making some very serious claims that Austin and his father sexually assaulted these two women, who are friends of his, when they went on a trip with him to Miami. Cole used to live in the Team 10 house with Jake Paul, who's friends with Austin McBroom, so I never doubted that he probably has some sort of relationship or at least knowledge of what Austin does when they go out, but this whole thing reeked of somebody trying to get attention and insert themselves where they don't belong. And that's exactly what happened. People on social media started to figure out that one of the girls who is in Miami with Austin for the alleged assault was an Instagram model named Leslie Hannah Bell, and though she's friends with Cole Kerrigan, she ended up exposing him for lying and basically saying he made that video to try and extort the Ace family into giving them some money. She wrote, To speak on this video that Cole posted, some of you have already figured out that I'm the other girl they're talking about in the video. I feel this video was made for the wrong reasons, and this wasn't Cole's story to tell. She goes on to say, Austin McBroom is not to blame in this situation and did not rape me or anyone. And then she posts a screenshot of her text with Cole, where he says that he's sure the Ace family would pay them at least $100,000 to not say anything else, which he offers to split with her. She ended up deleting the post, which she went on to explain to a commenter was because her manager advised her to do so, but Austin himself posted the screenshots, adding his own two cents. He wrote, If you've not heard, I've recently been a victim of extortion, defamation, and slander. I knew this was a cold world, but never did I foresee something this disturbing upon me. Thank you to all my Ace family members for your concerns, and thank you to those who know my character and my heart. I don't wish this upon anyone, and I can only hope those responsible for this learn from their mistakes and become better people. My family and I dealing with this matter privately and taking legal action, bullying, extortion, slander, and defamation of character is something I will not stand for and I can promise justice will be served. After Cole's video came out where he posted IG screenshots of his friend's supposed conversation with Austin, Catherine took it upon herself to make a fake conversation and post it to Twitter in an effort to prove how easy it is to make fake conversations. She wrote, I don't know who's worse, the person who photoshops conversations or the people who believe it. Next, can't break us up, ever. She went on to respond to a fan, tweeting, I literally died of laughter, along with everything else that comes up. And even though now these allegations of assault from Cole are starting to look very fake, the truth of the matter is that Catherine wasn't there for whatever did happen, so to die of laughter at allegations of rape, whether or not they seem nonsensical, shows this family's true colors. And honestly, whether it's your husband or not, if you weren't present, you simply should not speak on something like sexual assault. There's another girl who, following Catherine trying to prove how easy it is to fake receipts, posted a video proving she was DMing Austin, 
though the messages only show him saying that she only wants clout along with every other girl coming forward. Shout out to my subscriber who was sending me these receipts at 4am because even though she kept this video up, she did end up deleting her tweets where she alleges that she went to horror nights with Austin and ends up saying that he raped her afterward and then blocked her on everything. That part is confusing to me because she's showing a video where she clearly has access to his Instagram account and isn't blocked. So once again, I'm not sure where the rape allegations are coming from, but I don't see any reason for him to respond to her direct messages unless they have some sort of history. And that's what stood out most to me in Austin's statement about him being a victim. He never denied having sex with any of these girls. And neither did the Instagram model, Leslie. She simply stated that Austin wasn't at fault for anything, which implies that they had a consensual relationship. Like I mentioned before, these allegations that Austin is cheating have been brewing for pretty much this family's entire career, but now it seems like things are finally coming to a head. I don't want to speak on any sexual misconduct allegations because that's super serious, and I think Cole really made a fool of himself, but I have no doubt in my mind that Austin is sleeping with other women. Allegedly. Keemstar from Drama Alert keeps saying that his team has been working on a cheating story surrounding Austin for years now, and women always end up disappearing, but like I said, I think that everything is really piling on now, and there's going to be some actual credible evidence that comes forward from one or multiple girls, even though they've obviously signed NDAs. While it does look like this scandal is shaking their fan base more than usual, do I think the 12-year-olds who kiss the ground they walk on will care about this at the end of the day? No. I think the Ace family knows that really the only thing that would turn their fans off from them is them breaking up, which is why they put on this facade of the perfect relationship while probably doing some pretty shady stuff behind the scenes. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that Austin will end up getting seriously exposed for any cheating he might be doing? Do you think that Catherine already knows exactly what Austin's up to and doesn't care? What's going on here? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, subscribe to the 423 for more videos, and if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.